Welcome to another edition of the Gridiron Report. I'm Jared Johnson, and guess what? I have more good news for Red Raider fans out there as Texas Tech has landed yet another transfer. This time, it's a defensive end out of Virginia Tech. He's actually a Texas native, Robert Wooten, a six foot three, 240 240-pound defensive end who played in all 11 games for the Hokies last year as a true freshman. He totaled only three tackles, but still, true freshman playing Power 5 football, pretty impressive. And of course, that also means he has four seasons of eligibility remaining because of the, the NCAA waiver last year, which basically granted everyone a free year. So bottom line is Texas Tech is getting a very uh, highly valued defensive end transfer uh, who has four seasons of eligibility remaining, uh, who spent a year getting seasoning, being developed in, an, in a Power 5 uh, system, program. So this is a common theme. I believe this is the ninth transfer, incoming transfer, just this offseason alone uh, for Texas Tech. I think eight of them uh, are from Power 5 schools. Um, and Kalen Geiger is the one who's from Troy, who's not a Power 5 school. And, I mean, he's expected to be a big-time receiver for Texas Tech this year. So, I mean, I, this is huge news. It was unexpected for me. Uh, Wooten entered the transfer portal last week. I've been kind of not necessarily like in the mix like I normally am, uh, you know, due to my own deal going on. But uh, what what a what a nice surprise to see Robert Wooten, uh, you know, commit to Texas Tech on Monday morning. Because look, I like what Texas Tech probably has more returning depth, experience. Um, Guys who can play, to be quite honest, uh, power five top bo- type bodies on defense on the defensive line, than I can remember in the almost you know I guess eight years that I've been covering Texas Tech exclusively. So this is pretty exciting stuff. Robert Wooten was a highly, highly recruited guy out of Stafford High School there in the Houston area, um, just in the 2020 class. Uh, you know, SEC offers, Big 12 offers. I mean, you go down to obviously ACC offers. Um, he had, I believe. 24 reported offers uh, by the time he signed with Virginia Tech in 2020. He was a three-star guy. He was a top 75 in Texas guy, which is always, I mean, always good. It, all the top 75 uh, guys from the Lone Star State that the Red Raiders can get, uh, you know, the merrier. So that's just, uh, this is really exciting news. Uh, you know, 240 isn't necessarily heavy enough in Tech's odd front uh, scheme in terms of defensive end, but um, he can come in in pass rushing situations. You know they're going to put weight on him. He has tons of years of eligibility remaining, so this is a big get. I mean, I, what Coach Wells and Coach Patterson, you go down the list, Coach uh, list, Coach Randolph, the defensive line coach, all all these guys, what they've done in the transfer portal for Texas Tech has been uh, very impressive. Uh, now look, all you out there. They got to win this year. I understand. I understand that. Uh, I don't want to say that more than anybody, but as much as anybody that's not in that uh, facility every every day, um, there that, that football training facility. I, I get it. I really do. But still, if you set that aside, compartmentalize, because um, the season is going to be what it's going to be. If you just focus on what, how they've improved the roster, and look, I was out there for I think eleven of the practices, ten or eleven of the practices in the spring, and it was palpable how much. Uh, how much more talent they have than they have they've had in a long time. Probably since 2015, that was only on one side of the ball on, on offense when they had Dre and Pat and Jakeem. And you go down the list, all those all those guys, the Raven. Uh, that's the last time I can remember. And again, that was just on one side of the ball uh, that Texas Tech had, you know, like some real talent. So uh, a, a massive talent, not just a guy here or there that was a standout. So it, it's exciting. Uh, if you're if you're wanting, if you haven't yet dipped your toe into the shallow end of the Kool-Aid pool, I, you know, go ahead and jump in. Do a cannonball at this point because, like I said, the season's going to be what it is uh, no matter what. And I think I, I do think they're going to be better. Um, I th- you know, I'm already on record for seven wins, and this is just another layer to that, uh, that depth on, uh, on defense that they needed. I mean, in secondary they've addressed. You can go down the list, whether it be uh, Marquise Waters, uh, Mango, da- Rashad Williams. Um, I'm going to forget some guys. Reggie Pearson. Um, uh, I, you can just go down. They've added a lot of guys to that to that defense through, via the transfer portal this offseason and then last offseason. Guys that are still here, like Colin Schooler, uh, just just 
Tyree Wilson, uh, you know, uh, defensive defensive end, defensive line, just former four star or like first team uh, all conference players who are now at Texas Tech and have had multiple years and seasons to play with the Red Raiders. So um, I like the strategy. I think it's paying off. I think it's going to pay pay off in the in the fall. Robert Wooten, like I said, is just another guy to add to that list that to, to be excited about and uh, I can't wait for the fall camp to start here in early August and then of course to get the season started uh, you know September 4th at NRG Stadium against uh, Houston so with that I want to thank you for watching and until next time